hello you guys today i just have another quick message just hopping on for a quick message um i think i'm really right now in the season of gratitude and just really appreciating what i have in my life i think i often get caught up in how I think we all can do this, get caught up in how unhappy we are with the things we have. We're unhappy with our bodies. You know, um, I personally have acne struggles, so I can be constantly criticizing and judging myself for that. Um, we're unhappy with the way our bodies look. We're unhappy with our social lives. We're unhappy with our weight. We're unhappy with our friends. We're unhappy with this. And I'm reading a book now called 101 Essays to Change the Way You Think. I can't remember who it's by but it's just really opening my eyes so much and really allowing me to focus more on gratitude and also allowing me to really decide, look, like like I always say, we all have things that we're not happy with. We all have things that we struggle with. We all have problems, but I'm in a place now where I'm not gonna let my problems stop me from living a happy life because I deserve to be happy. We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to be at peace. And I'm not gonna let my problems stop that. I'm not gonna keep ruminating on you know on my problems and how this is going to happen how it's going to work out this and that because I'm taken away from the joy and peace that I could be experiencing in that moment and I think that's really what success is all about you're not going to don't think that success and happiness comes when you achieve something comes when you when you graduate when you get that job when you get that dream house when you get that dream relationship no success and happiness it just just needs to be all the time you need to find a way to be at peace with your current situation without depending on an external accomplishment to make you feel successful and happy there was one if i can find it one quote from the book says you you've ascribed happiness to a level of accomplishment rather than a state of being happiness is a state of being and you guys know how i talk about living a life on autopilot sometimes a lot of times with that I'm referring to not having any not having a any like a goal an end goal an ideal mindset or life or relationship that you want to attract not being intentional with your actions and your words and what you're feeding yourself what you're feeding your mind what you're looking at but you can be on autopilot in the sense of you're not you're not practicing gratitude every day. Gratitude is something that it does not come naturally to humans. It's something that we have to teach ourselves. That's why you can, you know, every night, the book was saying, you know, a good tip every night, write down three things that your body did for you. Instead of, because th throughout the day, you're constantly judging your body. You're constantly judging the way you look when you do things. Instead of appreciating, I'm so happy that my body allowed me to do this. My body allowed me to walk, to talk, to eat, to look, to make eye contact. I think I, I even get caught up in going um, out in social settings and always having these expectations of, okay, I'm going to meet this person. I'm going to have this kind of conversation. I'm going to order this. I'm going to sit here and it's just chill out. I'll do a, a, like a separate because there's a lot I can say about that, but just chilling out and appreciating our bodies and stop judging your body. It's your body. It's literally the only place that you live and you have to be with it for as long as you exist on this earth and you, you're so busy judging it. Why would you do that? Nobody else is even judging your body because people are so busy judging their own bodies, but you can control that. Don't judge your body. Don't judge your body. <laughs> um, so you've ascribed happiness to a level of accomplishment rather than a state of being. You think that only some people can be happy because their life circumstances are ideal rather than choosing to seek happiness in the moment and realizing that has nothing to do with it. Hold on, because that is not the one I was looking for. Here it is. So it says you've accomplished, and this is all about how to know, okay, how to know when the only thing in the way of your happiness is you. You've accomplished things you thought would make you happy and immediately shifted them from goals to notches in the belt. Once you achieved something, you immediately started to think of it as another thing done rather than another thing in my life to enjoy. And that just really resonated with me, as I've mentioned, just this season of graduating soon and thinking, this is something in my life that I should be proud of, that I can enjoy. I can enjoy my life. 
I can just enjoy the fact that I did this. Coming to grad school wasn't even something that I planned, but I, I came and I, I finished it and I saw it through and it's something I should that I should enjoy. It wasn't a goal. It wasn't something that I had written down that plan, you know, I had planned for years in advance. Some people do. That's not something that I did. And it wasn't something I was pursuing just to check that off. I did it because it was right for me in that moment. And it's not just another thing done. Your accomplishments are not just another thing done. When you get that dream job, when you get that dream degree, that dream relationship, you better sit in that. You better enjoy that. There's a word I'm looking for. Relish in that, yes. Um, because you deserve it. And don't be so quick to focus on what can I do next, what can I do next, just to check it off, just to get that notch in the belt. Because that shows that maybe you're lacking some true internal peace and identity. You're attaching your identity to the things that you've accomplished. So, yeah. So, who's this book by? Y'all will find this book. It's by Bri Brianna Weiss. Um, so that's just where my mindset is. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you made it, to, if you've made it this far, give it a thumbs up. Comment, I am happy. Comment, I am at peace. Comment, I am enough. I want some affirmations in the comments. And see y'all.